okay this is a laptop okay it's not displaying from the this is the motherboard laptop okay it's not displaying okay the hp okay uh the problems from the graphic card this one okay okay not in uh, any cases you need to change the graphic card okay for the display to come sometimes you need to work on the graphic card when you work on the graphic card then the display will come okay what we cause this thing when the uh, the display goes off sometimes when the laptop is so dirty you don't clean it maybe you just use it like that at least once in the year you have to clean your laptop so it so you don't get this kind of problem okay uh this one now the graphic card is like uh, a bit weak so because of the dirty the machine was very hot so it disturbed the display not to come so in this case i'm not going to change the graphic card i'm going to work on the graphic card so you see what i'll do i work on the graphic card then after i finish the display will come back okay so you have to take out the processor the heat sink first you remove it Okay, you take out the heat zinc. You see there is water on the processor paste. I mean it's overheating so much. Okay, so you have to clean all those things. Clean it very nice, okay? But before you do that, after you, after you do that, sorry, then you need to, after you clean it very nice, then you need to work on the graphic. This is the graphic card, okay? This is the processor chip, okay? So you take out this plastic. Slowly, don't do it first. You don't spoil any components there. Just take out this plastic on top on this one okay this is the one you are working on this is a graphic chip okay you clean the processor paste on top this one also you clean it Okay. now you need to use the heater heat machine you need to take out this uh, 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 this uh, glue here you use the pin and the heater you just heat a bit you take out the glue first just heat it a bit and use the pin and remove it from under Okay, you remove this one also. Make sure you remove this blue very nice, okay? Remove this one also. Don't heat it that much, just heat small and you remove the heater back. Okay, remove this one also. Okay, after you remove the glue a bit, okay, now you use the oil, a bit oil, just point the side of the chip like this. Pour another one here, a bit. So the oil will go down there. This oil will help the serving to melt very fast to help the process the sodium on that because sometimes what we cause this some of the leg already uh, disconnect from the processor chip to the motherboard so you have to use this oil first okay then from there use the blow again you just blow like this a bit so the oil will go that will go inside very well just burn it like this okay and now you need to heat on top of the processor like this don't heat on top of the glass okay don't heat on top of the glass here you just hit the surrounding here the green side just hit this side okay don't hit on top of the glass one okay just hit it and do it faster and don't hit it that much okay just hit it a bit just like this as you can see 
don't heat it that much just small just make sure the pressure is very hot okay then you stop After you heat it a bit, okay, you wait, the, you wait a bit so the process will become very, a bit cold, okay, then you clean clean the oil on top, okay, just clean clean the oil, so the motherboard will not get that much oil, just clean clean it a bit, you do it only when the process has become a bit cold, okay, don't do it when you just finish, so you don't spoil the, the chip, okay, because that time the processor is, uh, the chip is very, very hot, it's not good to do it like this, after I cold it, you clean it like this, okay. And now you put this plastic bag. Okay. Then you apply processor paste a bit. This one, this is a good quality one. They have different type. Some is not that good, so use the good one. Okay. You put here also. Put here also. Okay. Then now you need to clean the, the heat sink also. This one, you need to clean this also. Clean it very nice. Okay. Then you clean the this side, the dust, remove all the dust. If you have a brush like you can still if you have it you can still just close it like that you can use this one to clean like this very nice at least this one helps to clean more nice if you don't have it you can just use the light brush no problem okay then now you put back the you put back the heat zinc you screw it back Okay. So after you finish, you have to clean the the RAM. You make sure you clean the RAM very nice. If you have the paper, you can use paper. You just fold the paper and you just clean it like this. If you don't have the paper, the best thing you can use use eraser. You know the eraser, the one they always use for kid, for kid, for school. The eraser, that one is very very used, uh, good to use like this. You just clean this side, clean it very nice. Okay. Just clean this only the shiny side don't touch it with your hand okay just clean this side this side don't need to get that thing clean this clean this side also very nice okay Make sure the, the slot is very clean. Okay, then you fix it back. Just push it inside like this and press it down, okay? Now I'm going to put it on the laptop for test it for it to see. Okay, now I'll test for it to see. I own it, it's booting now, okay? Now it's trying to welcome the windows. The display is working now. Everything is okay. That means okay. Hello guys. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.